Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. I hope you're ready because we will start right now. Discover le verbe aller. So the verb aller, aller means to go. So it's really useful because, well, we tend to use it like that. So for the main to go reason uh, quite often. And we use it as also like in many languages uh, for what we call the futur proche, so the near future. I am going to, and then you put a verb at the infinitive. Uh, so it is, it is quite, quite used, especially in the oral language. We tend to maybe use it a little bit more than the, the real future. Okay, so let's see how you conjugate this aller verbe. The first form is je vais. Okay, so remember, final S not pronounced here. Je vais. Okay, when you combine this A, E, you get the sound E, really open. Okay, je vais. D'accord? Tu vas. Final S doesn't exist. Tu vas. Tu vas. Okay, then we get this il, so remember, il, uh, it's for the, the, the masculine form, so he, okay, and then l, she, okay, and then you get the va form, basically you pronounce it like for the two, because you don't pronounce the final s, okay, il va, elle va, okay, je vais, tu vas, il va, elle va. Then, nous, so we, plural form, nous allons, okay, and if you, so final S not pronounced, and then if you are purist, and I'm sure you are, you want to make this beautiful and little liaison, so this little link between the words, so it does mean that you will have to pronounce this z uh, sound, okay, listen to me, nous allons, nous allons. Okay, nous allons. That's it. Same thing here. We'll have this little link between the two. Vous allez. Vous allez. And the last one. So remember, here you get this S just to make the difference between the singular and the plural. Because when you put the plural form normally, you tend to add S at the end of the words. Okay, like here. But then you don't pronounce it. So... Ils vont, final day, not pronounced. Ils vont, and then feminine form, elles vont. All right, let's see everything again. Je vais, tu vas, il va, elle va, nous allons, vous allez. Ils vont, elles vont. All right? And then, just a few examples, just to show you how uh, useful this uh, aller verb can be, because we tend to use this uh, aller verb when you want to ask uh, if someone is uh, doing fine, okay? Uh, so the first question, how do you do in French is, comment, so how, comment, allez-vous? And then, same thing here, little link between the two. Comment allez-vous? Comment allez-vous? All right. So I've been putting this vous form here for the first example, just to show you that if you meet someone for the first time, then it's, well, it's better to use this vous. So here, the vous form, so because it's the polite form. Okay, comment allez-vous? Okay, it's a question, so raise a little bit your voice at the end. Like, comment allez-vous? Okay, you see? Comment allez-vous? All right. So, answer, when you want to say, I'm doing fine. Okay. Je vais bien. And then you say, merci. Thank you. Je vais bien. Merci. So, now, if you know the person, okay, you get two options. I mean, normally that's the most used one. The first one would be, comment vas-tu? Okay, so in that case, you just switch and you change this you, so polite form, and you change it with this tu form, comment vas-tu, 
okay? Well, answer can be the same, you know. Je vais bien, merci, okay? And the other one, comment ça va? Okay, it, it, it would be like impersonal form, okay? So you're not really addressing uh, directly to the person. Uh, how is it going? Could be translated, uh, could be translated like that in, in, in English, okay? Comment ça va? Okay, you raise a little bit at the end. Comment ça va? And then, same thing, you can answer with ça va, merci. Okay, so let's read them. Comment allez-vous? Je vais bien, merci. Comment vas-tu? Je vais bien, merci. Comment ça va? Ça va, merci. <laughs>